There are three things the devil will always want to do to you. To steal, to kill and to destroy you and no one is immune to it. You have to understand these three missions. Many of us may not think about the devil much in our day-to-day -day lives. But it's important to remember that he's always lurking in the shadows, waiting for the opportunity to pounce. The Bible makes us understand that the devil came to steal, to kill and to destroy. Number 1, to steal from you. If you understand this is his mission for your life, there are things that you're doing, you will stop doing it. What does he want to steal from you? The devil's primary goal is to steal from us what we hold most dear, our faith, our relationships, and even our very lives. He does this by tempting us with worldly desires and making us believe that material possessions are the key to happiness. He was to steal the presence of God from you, the peace, the blessings God has given you, the ability for you to achieve what God has planned for you. That is his mission. How does he do that? He will make you do some things that God hates. He will make you tell lies so that he will steal the presence of God. He will make you go and watch pornography so that he will steal the presence of God. He will make you do drugs so he can steal good health from you. He will make it all hang out with bad friends so that he will steal the blessings God has for you. That is his aim, that is his mission. And if you understand that, there are things that you're doing right now, you will stop doing it. What does the devil do? Number 2, he wants to kill. The devil doesn't just want to steal from us, he wants to kill us too. He wants to kill our relationships, our reputations, and even our physical health. He does this by planting seeds of doubt and resentment in our hearts, causing us to turn on each other. He wants to kill your dream. He wants to kill your vision. He wants to kill our anointing. If you know that his mission is to kill, you will not play with him no matter how great the gift he gives you, you will run away from it. Because he has no other mission than to kill, the devil will wrap a present for you and you think it's something good, no is not he wants to kill you. He will make you follow bad friends and you think they make you happy. They make you feel loved, among and understood, but the mission of the devil is to destroy you. He wants to kill you. At first it may look like something good, when the devil met Eve, he didn't like her. He didn't want the promise of God for her, that was why he did everything to kill the plan God has for her. He came by asking her a question and one thing led to another. She disobeyed God, and because of that, she lost the presence of God. What is the devil asking you to do? What is the devil pushing you to do? What thoughts always come to your mind? Bad friend. Pornography. Lying. Stealing. You always hang out with the same group and you know it is affecting you negatively. You always find yourself committing the same sin even though you don't want to do it and you think there's nothing behind it. The devil is behind it to destroy you and he will not rest until he accomplished it. What does he want to do? Number 3, the devil wants to destroy the plans of God for your life. Remember, he came to steal, to kill and to destroy. The devil's ultimate goal is to destroy you completely. He wants to extinguish the light of God in your hearts and leave you lost and alone in the darkness. Maybe God's plan for you is to be a doctor, director of a company or business, the next president, a pastor, a millionaire, name it. But the devil wants to destroy that plan. But if you are conscious that the devil came to steal, to kill and to destroy, there are things that you're doing right now, you stop doing. But I have good news for you. The same verse that said the devil came to steal, to kill and to destroy also said but I have come that you will have life abundantly. The devil is no match for the power of the Lord. When we put our faith in God and rely on his strength, the devil is powerless to harm us. So, let us not fear the devil and his attempts to steal, kill, and destroy. Instead, let us put our trust in God, who is able to protect us and defeat the devil once and for all. Always be conscious of the device of the devil. Because his mission for your life is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. We hope you found this video useful and that you enjoyed it too and most importantly blessed. If you did, make sure you hit that bell for more truthful and inspirational content. Remember we are just keeping it truthful.